Good morning, and now popping into King's Orchard Marina for diesel, coal, kindling, and so on. Office is over there. Have you heard the tale of Aslan and the Gent? Have you seen their travels before? back again and cruising the canals once more. Sold up, downsized for a minimalized alternative life afloat. Going boldly where thousands have been before. One man, one life, one boat. As well as offering diesel and pump out, coal and logs and gas and a well-equipped chandlery, King's Orchard Marina is part of the ABC Leisure Group, which means they also offer a fleet of hire boats for day hire, weekends and weeks. What a warm, friendly place. All fueled and cold up. So long, King's Orchard Marina. And now time to turn left and continue along the Coventry Canal. Just a mile and a half today, I think, to moor up outside a little village called Whittington, where looking on Google Maps, there's a co-op. So I can get some milk 
and possibly even a coffee for a change. More HS2. I remember this very impressive railway bridge. There used to be a park bench under here. And what used to be the junction of the Wirralee and Essington Canal. Now private moorings. I've wondered on occasion about buying one of these wind generators but I've received mixed responses when I've asked about them. Some say they do indeed provide a useful charge for your leisure batteries whilst others say they do next to nothing. Mm. The problem is they're quite an expensive thing to buy and I'm not one for spending large sums of money on things which turn out to be no good. I think I'll just stick to my generator in the winter and engine charging while I'm moving and solar in the spring and summer. I mean, it's done me well up to now. The village of Whittington pops up on the horizon. The outer edge of Whittington Village. Just down here on the left, I think. Maybe not, a bit tight. A little bit further on then.
somewhere along here looks a bit more promising. Yeah, maybe not. Too narrow for my taste. And another bend. That sun's back directly in front, but I think here is going to be as good as anywhere. Just need to be aware that that tree sticking out effectively narrows the canal down for passing boats. Right by here. Very good spot, but I've left one of my mooring chains back down at uh, the mooring outside King's Orchard Marina. Oh. So I've had to use a hook, which was the most popular way of mooring before chains came along. I'm not a huge fan of them because they can become unhooked. The worst part is I've been meaning to buy a spare or two of chains for that very reason, and I could have bought one or two at King's Orchard Marina. Well, there's no chandlers or boatyards for a while, so I'll just have to make do with hooks or mooring rings if there are any. I've decided to walk the two miles or so back down the towpath to get my chain because uh, looking on the, in the Nicholson guide there's very little in the way of boat yards, especially chandlers, and as I say I'm not a huge fan of hooks. I could have taken the folding bike, but uh, the towpath is so squidgy it would be very hard going. So it's going to be about two miles there and two miles back. Travels by towpath. I'm here, I just hope the chain is. I don't think it is. I think some eagle-eyed boater has spotted that and swiped it. I apologise, I take it all back. Yeah, what a relief, eh? Now, I took that as a, an omen. So popped back into King's Orchard Marina and bought a spare. Right, coffee.
home sweet home. Okay, I've remembered my mooring chains. Good morning, and five and a half miles today to Faisley Junction. No locks, and the town of Faisley itself. And that will leave me with an earshot of Tamworth, and it's two locks. trees come down and it's uh, extremely tight here. Don't want to go scratching the sides. No, thank you. Sheepwash Farm Day Nursery. I have no idea what that's all about. Do they wash sheep? Or is it a day nursery? Or maybe it's sheep wash farm, day nursery. Hmm. Whoa, deja vu. Hmm. They must have changed something. It's a narrow blind bend. And struggling a bit through here as well. It won't be very long before we enter a restricted area where there's no mooring, which is an area that belongs to the Ministry of Defence. And they carry out uh, weapons firing and who knows what. A very rural area, all the way to Faisley, with just one or two tiny little villages with not much in them. They can go from quiet rolling countryside to hectic city life in the blink of an eye. One place I'm looking forward to revisiting on this journey is the town of Atherston. Uh, not so much because that's where Aslan broke down for eight days, but because it's the place I bought a fabulous curry after my initial search along the canals for my favorite, a lamb balti vindaloo. And it'd be good to see if that curry shop is still there and I'll get another one and see what's uh, what the score is. That woods up there and Tamhorn Park Bridge just around this corner signifies the start of the restricted no mooring military testing zone.
the red flag and I know from my time in Cumbria that that means absolutely do not enter because they will be firing today. I'll just let this guy past. I often wonder, well I don't really, but people who work in these places, what do they talk about at the dinner table? Nice day at the office dear, yeah, today we developed a new way of killing people, oh that's nice, more potatoes. just make out tower blocks in Tamworth in the background there and in the foreground the decimation of England's Greenbelt continues apace now around two and a half miles to Faisley Junction Well, of course I remember Ballsbridge. Who wouldn't? Oh, very nice. A T25. The same model of Volkswagen camper I had right at the beginning. When I had everything I decided to keep, all my possessions, crammed in there. I don't think it was possible to get any more in there and still have room for me. And come to think of it, five and a half years later, 
there's not a lot of that stuff I took with me that I still have because I ended up never using most of it. I even gave away my Marshall guitar amp uh, just before the beginning of season eight. And yeah, pretty much anything else I either threw or sold on eBay or donated to charity. Things I thought I could never live without, I quite easily ended up living without. Fortunately, the keen canal boater is always prepared.